Today, I'm taking you on a journey into the world of advanced aquarium filtration. I'll show you how I built a highly efficient and effective filtration system that keeps my aquarium in perfect condition. This is not just any filter, it's a sump overhead. A system designed not only for performance, but also for complete control over water quality. It measures 150 centimeters in length with a 60 liter capacity, providing ample space for multiple filtration media that work together to create a comprehensive biological, mechanical, and chemical filtration ecosystem. The heart of the system, the pump and flow control. At the core of my setup is a pump with a capacity of 1,000 liters per hour. However, I don't let it run at full power. Why? Because maintaining optimal water flow is crucial. If the flow is too fast, the beneficial nitrifying bacteria, which are the foundation of a healthy aquarium, wouldn't have enough time to do their job. That's why I reduce the flow rate to ensure the water moves through the filtration stages at the perfect pace, maximizing filtration efficiency. Biological filtration, the key to a healthy ecosystem. The most important aspect of my system is biological filtration. This is where nitrifying bacteria break down ammonia and nitrites, highly toxic substances for fish, into significantly less harmful nitrates. To provide these bacteria with the ideal conditions to thrive, I use three key filtration media. One, K1, a dynamic and effective filtration medium. K1 is one of the best materials for biological filtration. This moving bed filter media has an enormous surface area for bacteria to colonize and is excellent at trapping fine debris. As it moves, it continuously renews the bacterial biofilm, ensuring consistent and stable biological filtration. Two, mechanical filtration, keeping the water crystal clear. In addition to biological filtration, mechanical filtration is crucial for removing visible debris. Leftover food, fish waste, plant residues, and other particles floating in the water. To achieve this, I use two different types of sponge filters. 45P, P, E, M, I, E, sponge. A fine filter that traps the smallest particles, ensuring crystal clear water. 30P, P, I, sponge. A slightly more porous layer that serves as the first filtration stage, capturing larger debris before the water moves through finer media. This multi-layer filtration approach ensures that the water is not only biologically safe, but also visually pristine, free from cloudiness and suspended particles. Ceramic media. Over 10 kilograms of highly porous material, ceramic media, is one of the most effective biological filtration options. Its porous structure offers an extensive surface area for bacteria, making it perfect for supporting the nitrogen cycle. By placing over 10 kilograms of ceramic media in my sump, I created a stable and efficient biological environment that continuously breaks down harmful substances. Chemical filtration, the key to stable water parameters. The final but incredibly important element of my system is chemical filtration, which helps maintain stable water conditions and prevents harmful substances from accumulating. For this, I use Purolite A5 20E resin, an advanced nitrate absorber. Nitrates are the final product of the nitrogen cycle, and if their levels rise too high, they can lead to excessive algae growth and stress for the fish. Purolite A520E works as a selective filter, binding and removing nitrates, preventing water quality issues. Thanks to this, I can reduce the frequency of water changes while keeping my aquarium healthy and stable for longer periods. Why does this system work so well? To sum it up, my sump overhead system is a comprehensive solution that integrates all key filtration methods. Biological filtration, nitrifying bacteria in K1, and ceramic media break down toxic substances. Mechanical filtration, 30 and 45 PPI sponges remove dirt and debris. Chemical filtration, Pure Light. A 520E eliminates excess nitrates preventing algae growth and poor water quality. The result? Crystal clear water, healthy fish, and stable water parameters for an extended period. Do you know that some plants don't need soil to grow? All they require is properly prepared water and nutrients. This is the foundation of hydroponics, a modern method of plant cultivation in which soil is replaced by special nutrient solutions. For an additional effect, 
I created a space where I can place plants, forming a so-called hydroponic filter. I use plants such as the peace lily and monstera for this purpose. Their roots are not submerged in soil, but in water, enriched with nutrients. As a result, they not only grow beautifully, but also help purify the water and improve air quality indoors. Hydroponics is not only a way to save space and water, but also a method for growing healthier and stronger plants. It is the future of cultivation, available to everyone, even in home conditions. If you want to learn how to build a system like this, what mistakes to avoid, and how to customize it for your own aquarium, stay with me. If you want, you can support my channel. The link is in the description. Like and subscribe.